before I give you that preview, I just want to note shares closed today at 1116 a share, lowest level since July 2009. They reversed course throughout the trading session. I think some of those China trade headlines really played a role here. Nonetheless, tomorrow it's all about earnings. Three big things in focus for GE. Number one, first public comments from new CEO Larry Culp. It's the first outsider to run GE in its 126-year history. Now, he took over abruptly at the start of the month. Highly respected CEO due to the returns that he delivered at Danaher. Expect an early outline of his plans to accelerate a turnaround. Details, however, we may not get those until early 2019. Number two, guidance. More pain and power means GE will fall short of previous 2018 earnings and free cash flow guidance. The street had already priced in an EPS miss, 88 cents per share. That was the consensus. But cash will be key here, especially since that's already been shrinking dramatically over the past two years alone. Which brings us to number three, the dividend. Will Culp cut or suspend it? It was already halved last November. But given the laundry list of charges and other issues, a fresh cut under a CEO New CEO might be welcomed, though the details are going to matter if this happens, since the shares are widely held still for that payout. So Q3 consensus, according to Refinitiv, 20 cents per share on revenue of $29.9 billion. But the bottom line here, this may be less about the quarter itself, more about the future, especially since that stock is down another 36 percent this year. And guys, I would just note, we actually saw what some uh, traders and investors were calling the Culp rally at the beginning of the month when shares rallied about 16 uh, percent after news that Culp had come out on as CEO and chairman. Today's loss erased those gains.